Good morning, early on families. This is Miss Jennifer here, and today we are going to be making some raspberry cream cheese sandwiches. And that's a little bit different, but I thought this would be something fun and simple for something that you guys want to try on a weekend or maybe something for when school starts for your child um, or something delicious just for a snack if you're craving something sweet. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is you're just going to need some cream cheese, some raspberries, but if you do not like raspberries, you don't have to just use raspberries. You can use strawberries, you can use blueberries, you can use jam even, you can use whatever you'd like. Um, you're just going to need some bread. And then I have another bowl here just to squish the raspberries in. I also thought I'm going to use the whole thing of cream cheese and some of the raspberries to make um, just a kind of a, a spread. And I'm going to put it in a container so that everybody can enjoy it. So what we're going to start with is we're going to be washing our raspberries. So make sure that your raspberries are nice and clean or uh, whatever fruit you use to make sure they're nice and they're thoroughly washed so there's no dirt on them. And then you're going to have your cream cheese. Make sure it's softened so that it is soft and squishy. Mine's a little bit hard. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stick it on just some um, on, a, um, on a plate and I am going to soften it. So let me just get one quick plate here to stick it on so that we can microwave it for about 15 seconds just to soften it up. So there's our cream cheese. We're just going to soften it up in the microwave. Make sure there's nothing on it. Perfect. And so let's put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds, just until it softens up. But also, we don't have to use the whole thing of cream cheese as well if we don't like cream cheese either. So let's put it in there for 15 seconds. And while it's doing that, we are going to put in our raspberries. So we're going to put in a handful of raspberries. Oops. Put some of the cream cheese in there. So I'm going to put in a handful. Good amount here. Look how yummy they look. So you can do how many you like. Um, you just gotta follow the recipe. So I think our cream cheese is very soft now. It definitely is soft now. Soft to the touch, which is perfect. So now we are going to mush up our raspberries. I'm going to make a full one here. So we are going to be using all of it. All of our raspberries mainly. That doesn't look for you. All right. So make sure to check all your raspberries to make sure they're clean and everything. So here we go. They look pretty good. This is going to be a fun part, is by mashing them. Okay. Oops. All right, so these are all my raspberries. So now we're going to mash it up. We're just going to squish, squish, squish. You can use a fork, you can use your hands, you can use a spoon. And just we're going to mash up our raspberries until they're in a good paste. You can still be chunks of it as well. If you'd like. So we're going to mash up our raspberries. It's kind of like a jam almost, but as we're mashing them up. And it smells really good too. So that's what it's looking like so far as well we're mashing it. I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. We're almost there at the texture we want. You can have big chunks, little chunks, no chunks, whatever you prefer. I think mine looks pretty good as it's going to be intertwining with um, 
the cream cheese. So next is our cream cheese. So we're going to add in our cream cheese here. And it is melted now, so it should be really soft now. So let's see how it looks. There we go. So it is softened. And now we're just adding it in there. It's probably going to take a few. You could soften it even more. There we go. It's going to take a little bit. A lot of hand work. This is where the parents might have to come in a little bit to help as the cream cheese is still a little bit hard sometimes, but right. So it's kind of like cheesecake almost if you think of it. Make sure it's all together. Right. Mine should have, my cream cheese was a little bit hard still, so it was kind of hard, still hard to mix it together with um, the raspberries still. So it's going to take a little bit of effort. And it looks cool the color, it's pink. So let me just scrape some of this off here, make sure that it's not sticking. I think we're getting there. You can stir it up a little bit, make sure that it's all combined. I could have used a little bit of a bigger bowl as well, um, just because it's not almost falling off the edges a little bit. But that's okay. I think we're at the stage now where I think it's pretty good to put as a spread. You can mix it more or less. I think it looks pretty good. So there we go. So this is my spread. Looks a little bit messy, but it looks delicious. So now we're gonna add some of our spread onto our, our butter. So you're gonna grab some, spread it all out. Looks pretty yummy onto it. You can put it on both pieces of bread if you'd like, or just the one. I'm only just gonna do it on the one. Some of it, I think I could have mixed it a little bit more. It's still a little bit chunky, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Perfect, and then I'm gonna add my other piece onto my bread here. Squish it down a little bit. Cut it down. Let's see how it looks on the inside. And there is your raspberry uh, cheesecake um, sandwich. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Very good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And this is our spread. So you can also use different kinds. It doesn't have to be raspberries. It could be strawberries, it could be blueberries. It can be whatever you'd like. So I hope you guys loved this and I hope you guys try it for yourself. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.